let's continue exploring the um, world machine and this section we start looking on our views you know right here on top we have it five different views that we can access by pressing f5 6 f7 f8 f9 hotkeys or just click on them and let's look first on our device view right here you'll notice we have a different type of devices so what devices does device is will can generate can modify and can output the information the overall let's go right here look on them and generators is usually the color green light so it kind of it's help you to identify modifiers will be in the blue and we have it also outputs which will be in a red outputs it's like images mesh or other ones we also have it other type that can affect combiners filters we can have it natural effect as erosions uh, terminal snow and water those ones will be Little bit different brown kind of color we also have it selectors converters that can affect we can work with parameters and also flow control so right here you notice what I did I created one you can just to put it this um, device you can select drag and place anywhere on your workspace one thing you notice you have a second so you can place as many as you want at that time when you're done right click with your mouse and it will deselect so you can put it more than one devices at the same time to delete device you just need skylight and press delete however it will pop up with the warnings if you don't want that warning pop up when you delete it just press and hold down shift key and press delete so it will be removing there also on the workspace you can select devices by click your mouse outside range and drag around this you can select a group devices that will help you move or modify them as well okay you also notice when you start by default you have these interesting squares these squares it's help you to group devices it does not affect functionality of devices inside um, in any way but it's help you to a little bit more organize them if you want by group to organize you can easy just take one device drag inside this area place it and now when you select this area you can move it after work with some time with the world machine I do like this concept and now I wish kind of some other application have it this type grouping inside of there when you work with the nodes so it's make much easier to group them select and move them to create this kind of groups it's actually very easy so what you need to do is just move outside again we can select them right click and you can notice right here we have a group selected so we can click readjust the group okay and now we have our new group dot the also you notice around the group we have these dots okay okay let me select the group so you notice right here we have these dots the dots mean it's a floating group so for example see we can go over this group but we cannot go over other groups again to convert need click be sure you just double click a uh, left click anywhere on this kind of corners we still open group settings you can rename your group right here change the color if you need it and also add additional text let's click OK and you notice right here we have it, our name description it does help when you start organizing and maybe you want to share uh, your creation with other people so your group this will help also um, let me select right here we'll double tap click and notice right here we have a floating group let me uncheck now it's become solid border okay, let me move this group and see I cannot move them around 
again, how I said before, it is affecting um, just to this, how the group does not affect functionality. Also, sometimes if you go around, you may steal some group away. So be careful with floating ones. You can see how you kind of steal around those locations. Okay, so right here, we have it, our um, group set. Okay. Next, let's do a couple things. I want to go put this back to our green group. I'm going to delete it when I don't need it. Okay. Readjust. Right here, create the point. So let me delete this point to visible. And let's look a little bit more on the nodes itself. So right here, we have it one um, device or node. And you notice we have it some connections. This, for example, is perform erosions. This is modifying. Advanced Perlin, however, it is creating. So when I click on a node, I can preview in my uh, preview main extension so I can see what this produce. So for example, if I go down to the line and click on Terrace, you can see right here, I can preview what this Terrace view does for me. And of course, if I go on Outputs, I can see after all stop. If for some reason I want to freeze that look, I can right click going to lock preview device or press F key at any time. And this is will lock. So even I change my position, I can still preview. I will use this quite a bit when we work on a project because if I want to go inside advanced Perlin options modified, but I want preview in my output through all modifiers, I want to lock this. Okay, so this is what, um, let's look closer again. We have it input, output. We have it also additional outputs, different type of the flow map, where map can producing. We also purple, we have it our mask input. And we have it also our values to control. You don't need to have external controls to access the properties of any of the nodes. You just need double left click, which is open pop-up window for the properties. You can move on different screens. So if you have a dual screen monitor, you can move away from here. And um, sometime in a pro version, you can also move away some render screen, which is very helpful. So right here, example, this property is related just to erosion device. We can open the advanced Perlin, same way we can go and access those properties. We'll look on each property of each devices a little bit later in the series of tutorials. To connect between devices, you can click on the area, you can see it's highlighted, and drag and connect. Some of those areas allowed multiple collections and mostly it is on output for example if i click on input right here see it's a connection i can connect inside here to the advanced parallel output notice i have it right now two connections coming out however input devices mostly it's except only single so if i click right there it will disconnect currently and i can reconnect to other one devices Again, if you again if you click, you can go and extend from both ways. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, so you need to highlight, click again, and connect. You can see it's very easy. The, also, you notice one time I created conjunction. So you meaning when you go to the line, you see this red dot. So you can add and you can create additional line or point where you can connect to other ones. But we'll look on this more closer when we start exploring and working, creating additional effects. So right here, short how you can work and connect and modifying and grouping the devices that you um, creating and editing. Overall, here's our view again devices. You can move left and right by using your right mouse. You can zoom in and out by using your um, scroll mouse and of course you can 
save some presettings how it's look so next time when you open you access the same type of the menu so let's go ahead and look on other type of the views in next tutorials